Okay, what's up guys? So, um, as many of you guys know, I did make a video on, um, video, or not video editing, but, um, it was on, um, skin editing. It was one of the first videos I ever did. Uh, it's way, way down here. It'll be on the very last page. Yeah, I did skin editing videos. And I think what I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to take these two off and just go from there because these two were my first two videos and I didn't have sound um, in either one of them so I feel as if they were really pointless so I think what I'm gonna do is take those off and I'm gonna sh and while I'm at it I'm gonna show you this new thing which is a uh, minecraft skin edit 3d and it's really cool um, I'm gonna be using it to show you guys uh, how to customize your skin and all I mean I'm not the greatest uh, skin maker but um, I'll try my best and I'll definitely leave the link in the description for this thread um, so the first thing you're going to notice is for the downloads there's three different types I used the uh, .rar because I use uh, rar files because I use winrar so after you get that you're going to have this or I, I threw mine down here um, and I'm going to double click on it if you use the rar um, I I'm guessing for the setup it'll just install it and the zip file it'll just be the same as this just with a different program so I'm gonna open up the uh, exe and I'm gonna go ahead and exit out this and it's gonna open so now that it, this is open you're gonna start off in uh, camera mode which means you can just look around and this is one of the preset um, templates that you can use um, but I don't want to use it I think we're just gonna use the uh, simple Steve template and then it's really cool um, because you can do view and then you can either do um, well there's three different kinds of uh, modes like you can look at it through you can either look at it 3d mode which is really cool I like the way that they've uh, added that in um, or you can go back to the classic uh, more standard uh, 2d kind of self-explanatory view or you can do a hybrid of both and you can edit it from up here and look at it um, through this which is what I think I'm gonna be doing or which I think I'm gonna be doing that mostly because um, if I if I do it through um, just this mode and I wanna look around I'm gonna have to uh, click on the camera a whole lot um, and switch between my pencil and my camera so I mean it's really cool tool um, and you can even like toggle head and all this stuff so let me put all of it back and you can edit it how you want to and there's actually um, increase and decrease resolution which means you can uh, make them more or less detailed um, the lowest detail it goes to is this face plate right here is one block um, and then I don't I don't know what the highest resolution would be um, but I know you can go up to like 32 and I, it might go to 64 as the top but I'm not completely sure but I'm gonna stick on the standard 16 mostly because if I do create a skin that I want I'm gonna be able to use it for single player and multiplayer because in multiplayer you can't use skins that are over 16 because other people without the HD texture pack won't be able to see them so I'm just gonna hop in real quick and I mean you have your colors down here I'm gonna bring this up some so I can look at more colors and then we're gonna start off and do more of a black kinda hairstyle and this is just a quick skin that I'm gonna throw together. I'm not doing anything major. I'm, I'm sure you guys can do a lot better skins than me, but I, I do use my steampunk skin that I use on my videos. Um, so I'm not planning on making me one um, for me to actually use. I'm just showing you guys uh, how to do it for yourself. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Now he obviously has black hair except for this little spot down here and I'm never really good at detailing all of them so you can definitely put more detail in it than this but I mean obviously you could put like um, 
you could put a beard on him or whatever you want to put and then we can we can well I guess we do have to switch to the camera either way and go back to the pencil then we can draw in our oddly colored and shaped beard and I don't really want a beard on mine so I'm, I'm gonna delete all this anyway um, but I do hope this helps you guys because I know a lot of you commented um, on the uh, advanced one and said that I really didn't do anything and that is true and the the main reason why I didn't do anything is because I didn't have voice in them at all or anything uh, like that so it was kind of pointless for me to just sit there and make a skin without sound or anything like that I'm not even sure if I added a song into it anymore because it was so long ago um, so just trying to uh, make a better one because I know there's a lot better software out now like such as this one this one's like absolutely amazing if you're good at making texture packs or not texture packs but um, skins um, I think he's actually trying to uh, make this uh, into where you can customize uh, texture packs and such with it too which is really cool um, so that's really interesting that he's going to be able to do that so it'll be like an all-in-one tool and all kinds of cool stuff so he has his uh, his um, colors uh, all organized and everything so everything's just all how you need it and see I mean I'm gonna put all my skin the same color because I'm not good at detail but you can make your skins to your heart's desire there's no no limits to what you can do with this it's absolutely just amazing and I'm, I'm really glad that he came out with uh, um, this program because uh, the uh, the old texture pack creator thing that I was using was for like alpha which is like old as dirt of course I didn't get the game during alpha so I kinda can't say anything about that but yeah so we can just uh, go back to base colors go to white um, get our pencil back out and then we can we can do black Um, we can, I think I want to go back down to skin colors and do just like a, just a little bitty mouth over here in this area, and then we can customize his clothes if we need to. I guess I can do those real quick. It shouldn't be too tough. I can just go over it with a little bit lighter of a color. And once again, I mean, even the people, or even the people at Mojang, put more detail into the default skin than I'm going to put into this one. Um, so, mine's just going to be really simple and stupid, but you guys can make yours however you want but yeah I did want to get rid of those two videos at the very bottom of my playlist I mean one of them had a pretty decent amount of views on it but I was all I was getting was bad feedback on it saying that it was pointless and all this and I mean I could see where you guys were coming from with that because it was the video had no sound no nothing to it it was just me with a crappy screenshot or screen editing uh, software and I just recorded me doing a crappy little 
version of me making a skin which I didn't even finish I didn't even get nowhere close to uh, doing anything with it so I thought I'd since this one had came out and I just got me some new software to record my desktop I thought it would be a great time to go ahead and test it out and uh, show you guys this new software which is the Minecraft 3D edit system and just give you guys a whole new point of view with skin editing and all that so we've got our little simple skin here we can do some I like darker jeans um, so we can do kinda like a darkish blue kinda wanna go even darker than that it looks more black but we can see a little bit of like navyish color in there and I mean you can make your you can definitely uh, if you're making a simple skin like I am yours probably won't take nowhere near as much time as I'm taking right here I'm kinda just telling you guys about it and all this and just taking my time um, but yeah, I mean, you've got all the simple tools like fill, uh, the fill-in bucket and all kinds of stuff like that. So, you can do anything you need to with this tool. Let me just fill in the rest of these pants. And um, this isn't taking, I mean, too much time out of my schedule. I'm not really doing anything major or anything like that. So, I mean, you guys definitely can take as much time as you need to make your texture pack. Or, I keep saying texture pack, but I mean skin. But, anything you need. Um, so, let's do grayish. and now we have us a simple and not even elegant skin which is just I mean I took it out of or I took Steve down here at the bottom and just created my own version of it which wasn't too hard at all I mean and I could even go up here to view 3D settings and watch him walk which is kinda kind of pointless but it's kind of cool so I guess this will be all for that so thanks for watching guys um, I hope this has helped anybody that's uh, kind of wondered about my other video um, and I know it was terrible um, so I hope this helped you guys um, please rate comment subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time